Hey y'all, welcome to Vlogtober day 25. Uh, it is 9.15 and yeah, I just got off uh, my break, 15 minute break, so I need to get back to work. Um, but I started listening to The Woman and Me uh, by Britney Spears this morning and OM OMG, I am just like fascinated by her story like I've never been so engrossed in a story before but wow um yeah I was so like just uh, like in a depressed state yesterday that I didn't even like post you know happy pub day to Brittany I didn't celebrate Brittany whatever yesterday even though her book came out yesterday so we're gonna do it today I got on my Brittany shirt and uh yeah so Happy Pub Day to Britney Spears. A day late, dollar short. It's okay, I'm always a dollar short. My mood's a tad bit better. I'm not coughing as much, um, but I'm still congested. And yeah, is this ever gonna go away? Anyway, we're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good day. I gotta get back to work. I just wanted to say hello. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 25. I'll check in with y'all a little later. Hey y'all, uh, good morning. It's it's almost 10 o'clock. It is Vlogtober day 26. Yes, I'm still a little congested. It's a little better. Still coughing. It just won't go away, y'all. Won't go away. So I'm um, putting makeup on this morning just to... <laughs> I'm on my break, by the way try to help myself feel a little better about myself because this is just making me is making me depressed and I don't want that um anyway my vlogging sort of died yesterday once again um I I really I just didn't feel good all day um it was it wasn't what's happening here I had some stomach I had some stomach issues yesterday, so I wasn't feeling well. I felt fine in the morning, and then before lunch, I started feeling just not not good. Um, so I didn't. I worked, and then I <laughs> I got in my bed and I watched TV. I watched I watched a couple movies, um, Venom, and then Venom, the second Venom, which is called Let's. Something about let's let's do the carnage. I don't know. <laughs> Marvel movies. I liked it. It was a good time. Anyway, so yesterday while I was working and not feeling my best, I um, I listened to Britney's memoir. Um, y'all. Oh my goodness. If, if y'all are a Britney fan or were a Britney fan or like Britney in any kind of way, you need to listen to her story. Or if you if you think, she, um, you know, she's misunderstood or like you feel like you don't really know what's going on in her life to make her, um, make her the way she is today. Um, cause she does talk about that, you know, talks about how, um, she knows she's weird but being on Instagram and dancing around makes her happy. Uh, trying on new new clothes. She likes to be naked. She can't help it. It's just who she is. <laughs> and I love that about her. Um, but the memoir is so good, y'all. Y'all really and, and the narration. I listen to it. Brittany doesn't do the narration. She does give you the introduction, but she'll. Um, she tells y'all she doesn't want to relive it once again as she had to, you know, do it while writing the book. Um, so she has Michelle Williams narrate it and she did a fantastic job. I mean, she really does sound, she almost sounds just like Brittany in a, in a way. Like after Brittany did her introduction and Michelle came on, I was like, oh wow. So, and, and then she just put the perfect amount of emotion in like the perfect places in the book. It was just, it was phenomenal. 
it left me very angry for Brittany and very sad for her as well. Like, I wish I could be Brittany's friend and just be there for her. She truly had nobody on her side that she could truly trust. She thought she did and they ended up taking advantage of her just as much as her family did. Her family, y'all, her family, excuse my French, they are pieces of, pieces of shit, okay? Pieces of shit. <laughs> um, Brittany did not deserve everything that she went through and I was like really, really shocked of some things that I, I read or listened to um, during this memoir. Like there were, there were things that the media made out for Brittany to look a certain way and they accomplished that. Like I truly believe that now it never, um, I was never against Brittany. Never. I've always loved Brittany. Like I thought she was just a iconic pop performer. Um, I loved watching her perform her dance over the years. I've just, I've just loved it. Uh, I think she's, I think she's a phenomenal, a beautiful, smart, talented woman. And after reading this book, I want to add in such a badass woman as well for enduring everything that she's endured against her will. I, I, like, once again, I was just shocked at what, at what I was listening to. Um, she was not what the media made her out to be. Let's just say that. And all of that, I, like, I, I blame her family. I blame everyone she has been with over the years. As far as Justin is concerned, <laughs> Yes, he's a great artist. Yes, he's a great singer. He's done some great things in his life, but I have sort of, in a way, lost complete respect for Justin. Anyway, if you're a Britney fan of any kind or are just intrigued to know what kind of life this young woman and now grown beautiful badass woman had to go through you need you need to read this book listen to it whatever okay that's all i'm gonna say about that because i could go on and on yeah i was so angry so angry reading this book or, or listening to it like and then sad i cried and and she you know she was she made some lighthearted jokes about it sometimes so that you know there was there was laughter I, I just <sighs> Brittany girl I am so sorry I wish I could have been someone in her life to be a friend for her someone she could have trusted anybody not I mean I say that you know but uh, she's just anyway that was my day yesterday and today I'm just trying to make myself feel better <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about the Halloween party tomorrow like part of me really wants to go and then part of me doesn't um, I think it'll be fun once I'm there it's just to get myself there and you know mixing and mingling I just don't want to like be coughing and like scare people away kind of thing you know anyway we'll see we'll see how tomorrow goes but I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I gotta get back to work uh, so hopefully nothing goes wrong and I'll talk to y'all later I just went to get the mail my ear just started popping like every time I swallow and now I'm like all echoey in my head and I keep trying to pop it, pop my ear so it'll like sound normal and it just keeps going right back to this echo sound in my head and it's aggravating the crap out of me. When will this go away? Anyway, I got some fun stuff in the mail. 
I have some Bath and Body Works coupons, which are always fun. I got this Target um, Christmas, I guess, toys for kids, which I don't really need, but okay. <laughs> I'll probably just throw that away. And then, of course, Alta's um, holiday collections. But this is this is what I was waiting for. I ordered me some new um, Uggs, but they're not Uggs. <laughs> they're from Lamo. They were on QVC, and they were so cute. I mean, they look just like Uggs. They just, just you're just not paying for the for the name. If I can open this. Well. I might just have to tear on into it. Hopefully we don't have to send them back. Because it's scissors. Today was a non-entertaining day of work. I did, however, though, in between doing work, I didn't, I uh, haven't listened to a book since yesterday, since I listened to Brittany. I need to get back into the trap, but I'm just not, I'm not into it. I'm just not into it, but maybe tomorrow. I did some book reviews. Like, I was so backed up on book reviews, it was insane. So, I only have three books left to review, and they're recent. Look, how cute. How cute are these? I'm so excited. I ordered my normal size, which is a five. They don't have half sizes, so they suggested if you're half size to go up, so hopefully, hopefully they fit. Uh, they look teeny tiny, but I got a teeny tiny foot. Let's see. Oh, I left. <laughs> I left some more stuff in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try this again. Uh-oh. A little hard to get into. Uh, okay, yeah. My toe pretty much comes all the way to the end. So I might have been able to go up to a size six maybe. But aren't they cute? They like the low like little ankle kind of boot and they have like a little platform to them I thought they were cute and you can get them in Uggs I'm pretty sure Uggs has the same thing but you're gonna pay probably a hundred bucks or better for them these were these were like sixty dollars I think so But I like them. Yeah, my toe does come, but I don't think, I think the six would have been too big though, because they do feel kind of roomy, but my t I can feel my toe at the very, at the very end of the boot. Ooh, cute. Yep, I'll be living in these this winter season. I think I'm gonna try to do, set up. A mad fit workout today obviously didn't do one last night and I still have not edited I don't even know what day we're on but I have not edited those days I'm not sure what we're watching on the TV it's on it's on freeform so some sort of Halloween movie um, but yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep them they say they're waterproof yep So I would say true to size, but if you're a half size, definitely go up. You don't want to go down because these are like, my toes like right on the end, but I'm, I'm good with it. Um, and I love the little platform. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can find me a mad fit workout to do. And then I kind of need to go to CVS. I think Michael's frying some chicken for us tonight, so that'll be fun. Uh, yeah. I'll keep y'all posted. We are gonna attempt 
20 minute booty, I think. I ended up doing 20 minute abs and booty instead of just doing booty. I saw she had a 20 minute abs and booty uh, all on the floor. So I was like, let's do that. Um, really good, really good workout. All right, uh, I might go to CVS because I need a few things. I'm out of my toner that I use. Um, oh, the Neutrogena body oil that I've been using to cleanse my face, like the first step in the two-step cleansing process, like makeup remover, it's breaking me out and I'm not, I'm not liking that. I love the product itself. Feels good on the skin. It does get makeup off, um, but not entirely. And it definitely, you definitely gotta work with it to, to loosen up the mascara, which it will loosen it up, but it won't take it off completely. Um, so, there's that but it is a good product but I can't use it on my face so I'm gonna um, see if maybe one of my nieces want it so I need to get something else um, and I'm almost out of facial cleanser which I used a La Roche Posay I was using the one for oily skin but I think I'm gonna get the one for dry to normal or normal to dry skin um, just to kind of help with the flakiness. The flakiness is better. But I had to stop using my tretinoin. Just for right now, I'm going to wait and go back to my dermatologist. I noticed that I was cracking a little bit in my creases and bleeding. So, no. So right now we're healing the skin barrier. <laughs> um, so the, the flakiness and the dry skin is a lot better. Um, and I was noticing that, you know, like it was burning, like when I put moisturizer on, it would burn a little bit like around this area, but you know, I wasn't really that concerned about it. I just figured my skin was just irritated from the tretinoin, uh, which is also not, probably not good, but yeah, off the tretinoin for a little while. Um, and then I'm gonna wait and go see my dermatologist and see what she recommends. Anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> I forgot to film while I was in CVS. It wasn't exciting, I promise. But I did get a lot of stuff. I got, well, I got I got me some more eye drops. Um, as I'm saying that, my contact is swirling around. Uh, this is the toner that I like to use. It's the Peach Slices Acne Exfoliating Toner. I was using, the, I go back and forth with the Polish Choice. I really don't like the way it feels on my skin that they're uh, BHA, the 2% salicylic acid. I'm not crazy about the way it feels, but I keep going back to it for some reason. This this one I, re I really do like, and it's way cheaper. And then I got the Aveeno Calm and Restore um, Triple Oat Serum. I used to use this all the time, so I'm gonna go back to it to kind of help heal my skin. I got the La Roche Posay. This is the hydrating gentle cleanser. And that's it. That's it from CVS. And my eye drops. Oh, and Michael's. Michael wanted some nose spray. So I got him that. Um, and then, so I couldn't find anything as far as like a cleanser to take off my makeup at CVS that I knew wouldn't break me out. So I was like, well, let me just go to Ulta and I'll get my Clinique take the day off balm all they have is the huge size and I just can't, I just can't bring myself to spend 
$51. Even though it would probably last me a long time, it's probably well worth it. I just couldn't do it. So I got me another thing of the ordinary, the um, Squalane or Squalane cleanser. Um, it's just really good and my skin really loves it. It's, it's very moisturizing and gets all the makeup off. And then I got more of the CeraVe. This is the Comforting Eye Makeup Remover. I do like this stuff. Uh, I don't like rubbing my eye with like a cotton round, but if I just like put it, like set it on my eye and kind of let it sit for a little bit and then kind of rub it off and then I'll, I'll finish taking off my mascara with, with this, it works. It works really good. It really does work really well. So I got some more of that. So my total was like, well, it was $25 because I gave, tw I gave $5 for breast cancer awareness month. So. All right, let's go home. Hopefully Michael's getting started on the fried chicken because I'm hungry. Fried chicken and french fries. Mm-hmm. Hey, <laughs> it is now almost 10.30 at night. It seems like I will be going to the Halloween party, so that may be interesting. <laughs> um, it's like I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and then I'm not looking forward to it. Like, I want to go, but I don't want to go. Ugh. The joys of just having anxiety about it. And if Michael goes, if he decides to go, he hasn't decided yet, it will make my anxiety so much better about it um i mean even though you know i'm gonna be with my family mike knowing michael's there kind of calms me but if he if he doesn't want to go he doesn't want to go i'm not gonna make him go for sure it's hunting season um he might want to go to the camp i don't know or he might just want to stay home and not go at all Anyway, <clears throat> just want to say good night. I don't think I'm gonna do any reading tonight. Um, I haven't actually picked up Still Beating since I didn't read last night, so since the night before, as well as The Trap. I have not read, I haven't read anything today at all. Um, so hopefully this weekend we can get some reading done. And then Halloween is just around the corner. My vlogtober is almost over. I'm sad, but I'm kind of like grateful that a break will be coming from, from vlogging every day. Don't worry, I'm still going to be uh, vlogging. Uh, I do plan to include more vlogs in um, in my monthly po uh, content, I guess. Um, just because I enjoy them, I think y'all enjoy them. I don't get a lot of views, but for the most part, I think everyone enjoys them, so I will be vlogging, just just not every day, and I don't think I'm going to do Vlogmas this year, that's why I did Vlogtober, um, so Christmas to me is already stressful, and I didn't want to add on anything to that, um, I just want to have like a, a relaxing Christmas, if that's at all possible, but like I said, there will still be vlogging, anyway. Just want to wish y'all good night, and as always, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.